<laughs> Simple liberties. Yeah, getting their foot Facebook page, uh, <laughs> picture uh, game up. That's it. That's all they worried about. Just another little addition on Facebook. Look at me. I'm like, I'm a renaissance man. I'm in marches. I'm over here doing this, over there doing that. Yeah. Look, I'm at a play this week. Yeah. Last week I was at the march. I just posted a Malcolm X meme. So you know I'm here. Mm-hmm. But that's all for one thing. For some pussy. That's just it's, it's clear cut. That's all what it's for. Niggas ain't out here trying to work for their people. So when you see these stories like like what happened in Dallas, that should put a spark in your mind like, damn, it is going down. And when you're doing that, what are you doing? You're measuring the time. And you're saying to yourself, it's that time, the Lord is coming. So I gotta get my thing together. I gotta get myself together. Go ahead. Then, right. shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And, and you and you have to get that understanding by one by one way. Reading the prophecy. Nobody can read the book for you. You have to read it for yourself. And let the most high deal in your life. If you're not reading it, you're not gonna get it. If you're not reading, it's like you're not coming to Yahushua's house and dealing with it. But you're expecting to get all the information from Yahushua. You got to come to Yahushua and, and, and suck with it and work with it. Not just in, in, in the bad times of your life, when shit's going bad, you read like, you done read the whole book. Also in the good times, you got to come to Yahushua and get that information. Hold that real quick. Can you get that precept? All right. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, mm -hmm. and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Blessed is the man that's reading and hearing the words of these prophecies. How is he blessed? Because he's going to understand what time it is in the world. And he's going to back himself way off from any kind of worldly pleasures. Because he knows that's how he's going to get caught up. Doing things like making vows to do it, leave all that stuff behind and just follow the scripture. Don't add nothing onto your plate that you don't need. Because if you think the times are hard now, what about when, when there's no food in the stores? But you done made a vow for this, that, and the other. You, you ain't even ate in three days, but you worried about, you put your mind at ease and roll with your whole bus from your own shot. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Don't think about anything other than being saved. That's it. Because when the truck stop running, because the gas price is too high, there's no food in the stores, there's no items in Walmart, there's no water in Walmart, there's no batteries in Walmart, there's no gas to run generator, everybody want to go and buy a generator to have no electricity, well, I don't have a generator. Well, guess what? In that same time, there ain't going to be no gas to put in your generator. You can go to Pumpkin Gas, that gas station. Yeah. yeah. If there is any gas, it's going to be extremely high. And, and you got, and if you do have it, you got the so-called white man on your back with, with pistols, rifles, knives, all kinds of stuff, trying to take it all away from you. Don't you? What are they saying in Venezuela? Like, I think a carton of eggs is like 150 U.S. dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and certain other uh, food products are, are like in the hundred dollar range, man. Right? Yeah. That's right. So, and that's not. Those aren't like delicacies. Those are items needed for essential life. Vitamins in your body. The Lord took all that away from you. You just out there bad, eating trash, eating doodle -doo on the street, eating other people, eating dogs, eating cats. You reduce to nothing because you don't want to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. And that's cool with me. I don't care. Go out there and eat people. If you eating a, a pig, you might as well be eating people anyway. It's a simple stuff. Go ahead. Revelation 1 and 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth thee, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. And keep those things that are written therein. The scriptures tell you what to do. This is instructions for life, like I said earlier. Just like you have instructions to put something together, you have instructions for life, what to eat, what to do, what not to do. 
It's made easy for you. Imagine life with no instructions. We'd all be eating bullshit. We'd all be doing bullshit. That's right. Suffering the consequences. But you have the instructions, all you gotta do is follow. But you don't wanna do that, so hey, you take that destruction, you hold on to that, I'ma seek out life. That's right. I'ma hope for salvation. That's you right. hold on to that destruction. I can keep it far away from me. Go ahead, huh? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19. It says, if in this life only we have hope in Yahweh Mashiach, mm -hmm. where are, we are of all men most miserable. That's right. If it wasn't for Yahweh Go ahead. I'll giving us this, doc, this, this, this word, this book, mm -hmm. where you're supposed to read, like the brother's telling you. Blessed is he that read it. You know? You, you, we're miserable. We're miserable without this. And like I was saying earlier, this is the only thing that gives us comfort. That's it's right. going to give us hope, man. That's right. That's right. The rest of you, y'all's hope is false, man. And y'all gonna find out in due time. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, but not only do you read, you also apply this book to yourself. And if you're applying the book to yourself, you should be doing the same thing that we're doing right now. Out here on these highways and byways, seeking out the elect. That's what that you should have that same mental mindset. You don't need to be, if you, if you have the spirit on you, get out there, get some understanding on how to preach. On, on how to act, to how to be seasoned, and get out there and preach the Lord's word. Because this has been done for 30 plus years. So of course you think, okay, I'm gonna go out there and speak and do this. Get out there, seek some instruction, do that through the, through the right brothers, especially of Great Millstone. Well, I should say this, only of Great Millstone. Seek out that instruction on how it's done. Get out there, do your thing. Make it work. Hope for salvation. Leave the world behind. Get out here and, and help us build the ark. That's right. Well, that was it on yeah, that? Yes, that's it on that. Come. Second Ezra's 9 and 3. Therefore, when there shall, shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people. And if I can say this, there is a parable. Uh, I forget exactly where it is. But it's a parable. It's speaking about those doing the work. And some coming in much later than those who were actually doing the work, but everybody was paid the same. So don't be thinking to yourself, ah, oh, well, then they gonna, they gonna laugh at me, they ain't gonna accept me. Them brothers been out there for 10 years doing it. And no, that's not it at all. When we see other camps popping up, and coming in the right spirit, that puts a smile on our face. It makes us wanna do it harder, do it more. As long as you're coming in the right spirit. And we're all open to, you. hey, hey, hey brother, um, I'm. I'm out here in Abilene. Do you think you can, uh, you know, I'm thinking about going out. You know, just give me some pointers, give me some tips, or, or, you know, help me out with some breakdowns, get some understanding. We're here for that. If you're in small town Florida, there's brothers out there. Small town Mississippi. Small town Washington. That's right. It's that time. If that spirit is on you, get out there and do it. Be not just a hearer, but a doer, as it talks about in the book of James. Cause if you go and keep hearing and keep hearing and keep hearing and, and you never did a thing. What what were your works? Go ahead. God. Therefore when there shall, shall be uh, seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou, thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Now what was going on in Greece and what's happened in Venezuela and other places Iceland at one point in time. If those ain't uproars of the people, then you might as well put the Bible in there. There's major uproars of the people going on. Major sedition amongst men, as it talks about in uh, 2nd Ezra 15, I believe. Major things going on. So now that you know about it, what are you going to do? Once again, we, we ain't talking to you scoffers. We don't care what you're going to do. We're talking to those of a like mind. Like it talks about Ezekiel 9 and 4. That's that's who we're talking to. You sitting there chewing on bubble gum with, with a bowl of Lucky Charms sitting in front of you scoffing at video, videos, we ain't talking to you. We're talking about those men who are signing and crying. Do you have something? I got something. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's right. But we are made manifest unto the Most High. And if trust and, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. So that's our job is to uh, we, 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 like the prophets, 
the men of the Lord on the highways and the, the byways, we, we meditate on uh, prophecy and we stay occupied in prophecy, the, the, watching the news. You know, we, we hear about a brother may send us an article or an email about something that's going on in the world. So we, 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 we get this me these messages or uh, a brother may do it over the video. The, that's how. That's another way an epistle sent out is through videos. That's so right. we, we know the terror of the Lord. So we we, we, we we put it out to you. That's your job. You, we, when you know something that's going on, like the brother saying, you're hearing about all this stuff that's going on in these other countries. That should move you to to get up, man. Right. To get out of that 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 state of slumber. That's right. And stop being a uh, uh, lazy man and asleep in that in that state of hypnosis. That's the, the point, is knowing the terror of the Lord will persuade men. So if you're moved by the Spirit of the Lord, you're going you're gonna to go out there and do that. You're going to do that work. You're going to be a fisher of men. I got a quick piece of prayer. James, chapter 1, I'll just, I'll start at, uh, I'll start at 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But this is the point, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. That's right, be doers of the word and not hearers only, man. When you hear this thing, you post a uh, uh, verse, uh, transform, your, uh, uh, transform uh, form your mind, man, and, and follow the, the ways of Yahweh by Shin Then you go out and teach, man, mm -hmm. you know? This thing of ours ain't about just uh, coming out here and then uh, just rolling on people. It's for you to uh, basically repent, get yourself right, and doing so, and doing that, going come out here and tell your brother to get right, man. Show him love, you know what I'm talking about? Start at the top, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. That's right. So, so you uh, hear these words and you don't. They supposed to be conducting themselves in a certain way. Or if you're not even coming out here, you on, you know, you're uh, at the, you in your house, and you're chilling, and you're not changing. You hearing these words, you're deceiving yourself, man, because you're gonna be judged. You know. I got another quick precept for you. Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Yahweh, Yahweh, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So you got a lot of people out there that know the name of uh, the, uh, uh, the Most High, man, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You got a lot of people that that, uh, that are calling their name, but alluding back to what the brothers brought out in James. If you're not doing uh, what these scriptures prescribe for man to do, then you're, you're, the Most High is not going to save you, man. Yahweh Shah is not, is not going to come back and save you, bro. That's right. You're going to be destroyed. Well, this is the point right here. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Yahweh, Yahweh, we have we not prophesied in thy name? You may have prophesied in thy name. You may have been looking at videos the whole time, but what were you doing? That's right. What did you do when you were out there? What did you have when, when you had the chance to get out and do something? What did you do? Did you get your axe and go and help chop wood to build the ark? So when, that, when the water starts to rise, if you didn't do it, then you really shouldn't have nothing to complain about. That's all I have. That's right. It was just like last week, man. This, this woman came up to me asking me, uh, she was trying to bring out the parable of the talent. And she was like, where, 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 where's everybody at? Where's your fruit at? And it, but these people, don't, what they don't understand is that the most side, he, he works on his time and he wants to work. Like I woke up with the, with the internet, you know, and I came out and I showed certain uh, this, this knowledge to certain people out here, and and, and that and the third. But the, that that woman was basically saying that, basically she was trying to say that I, I wasn't producing or what, I'm not doing the work when yeah. I'm out here doing a greater work than anybody else is doing. Yeah. Not trying to sure. boast or nothing like that, but it's these true. people have a yeah. misconception, a misunderstanding of the scriptures. Man. That's true. You know, and and. You know, we're being doers. You know, we heard, and we're moved by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And and, and the, the Spirit, like the brother, my, the brother right here said, that we have to first uh, 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 teach ourselves and to uh, examine ourselves and repent. And, and, and then the, the next thing to do is you're going to go out to the highways and the byways, man. That's right. And you're going to you're going to start with the milk, the basics, and you're going to you're going to increase. You know, that that's that's what part of that. Uh, 
that 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 being a doer. It's not about having 50 people up here because all them, them 50 guys can can easily fall out. You know, that talks about that in Corinthians. Well, every word, every man's word is going to be a uh, try. You know, so. You know, I just wanted to say that, you know. That's right. That's how people right. just have a misunderstanding of the scripture. That's right. That's right. Not necessarily a misunderstanding, but the Lord didn't give it to you. Once again, we always want to go back to that point. This was a gift given to some, not all. It's like it says, many are called, but few are chosen. You may have got a call, but during the interview process, most I don't didn't want you. You didn't answer the call. That's right. That's <laughs> it too. Some of y'all came to work, but you just didn't, you couldn't cut it. You just didn't have what it took. Go ahead. I got a script. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 33. Mm -hmm. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. That's right. You can break it down if you want. Right. And then you, you, you think that you got the, the spirit on you or you're doing the, the, the right thing. You know, when we're out here doing the work, we're telling you the truth the right way. And you despise it, you deceive yourself, man. Because everybody out here, they think they're uh, the most high is dealing with them. The Lord's dealing with them. But really, they're deceiving themselves because they're not listening to the law, and commandments of the Bible, man. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. They're not being the doer. That's right. But a bunch of hypocrites, man. That's Amen, right. man. That's you know, right. so that that's what it says that he he that thinking himself to be son, he yeah, he is nothing. He deceived Amen. his he deceiving himself. Yeah. So that's what's gonna catch you and get you destroyed, man. You know, one of the, you know, because it, it's it basically like the same thing you were saying. Sure. You can't just be a, here, here you got to be a doer. Man. You got to apply, you, you learn, you, you understand, and you apply that wisdom. You move with it. That's what right. the head of the boss said that. He made a, a beautiful point. He said, the first person that you teach uh, in this thing is yourself. You teach yourself first, man. You know what I'm saying? Before you go out there and teach anybody else. You know? That's where you, that's, that's, that's showing true humility. You want to change, you know what I'm saying? You know? A lot of times you get caught up in, uh, oh, I want to you know, prove this point, or, you know, I want to cut this person or that person, and you get caught up in that, and versus, man, I got to live this thing, bro, or I got to change for myself, you know? Like they say, too, like, choose your battles. You know, you don't just jump into every, you know, every argument or every, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just, sometimes you just let it go, man. Blow it off and just keep moving. You know, and just stay focused. That's right. And, and understand that the battles are going to be fought by the Most High. The Most High is going to take care of all those battles. So don't be so quick to just come out here for warfare. Come out here for, oh, I'm caught. Every Edomite I see, I'm cutting. Close them up. Yeah. Every nigga I see, fuck the black one. Yep. Don't come out here for, for straight up adversity. Because the Lord might bless you with that straight up adversity. Where you'll be out here under heavy fire every time you step out. What do they talk about? Uh, one of the officials said that some of them come with the uh, malicious folk. Mm -hmm. You know, with the malicious you know what I'm saying? You're not coming with sincerity. Yeah. You know? But like the elders, I, you know, the brothers out in the uh, other states, man, they even say when you first come out, you come out real, real, real zealous on fire. Because you're a new, you're a babe in this thing, and you're you're following all that. But that, but that 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 only lasts for so long because you're gonna find out that you can, it's gonna get you more and more into uh, trouble. That's right. So you know, the people that you don't want. So take heed to the to what the brothers say, man. You know, the, the scriptures say everything was written for our learning. So, but but the, but the Most High requires that everything to be done through experience. So that's how we learn. That's right. And experience brings wisdom. So as you're out here, learn. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from, from what you did last week. That's right. Learn from what you watch yourself sometimes and learn from that. Gain some experience. Don't just keep doing the same thing over and over, especially if you're not getting the results from it. That's right. Look at what you're doing. If you look like a dumbass on, on the video, if you're saying to yourself, man, I, I look crazy. Why am I acting like that? that other people are probably watching and saying the same thing. Same damn thing. Now, I'm not saying be be caught up in, in how you look, this, that, and the other, but critique yourself. Do do the work, and, and also strive to do it right, you know? Yeah. Second, yes, I do, brother. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. That's right. Prove your own self. 
know ye not your own self, how that house shall is in you, except ye be reprobates? That's right. 